Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Kalkine Studios in Sydney. The Australian share market is expected to open higher this morning. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.6% gain. Yesterday, the Australian share market closed 0.10% lower at 7,695. In business news from this morning, Bunnings Warehouse Property Trust has declared its offer for Newmark Property as best and final. Its offer of 0.4 BWP units for one Newmark Property REIT is final and unconditional. BWP said 42.5% of Newmark's unit holders have accepted its offer at the 19th of March. BWPM's Managing Director, Mark Scatina, says BWP was pleased with the positive response from NPR security holders and to be able to declare the offer unconditional. Sigma report total net revenue of $3.3 billion was down 9.2%, largely reflecting the disposal of their hospital distribution business during the year and elevated sales of rapid antigen tests in financial year 2023. That's not been repeated. Reported EBIT of $23.2 million is up 20.4% and reported MPAT of $4.5 million is up 149% from the prior year both after absorbing initial merger transaction costs of $8.2 million. Excluding those merger costs, EBIT was $31.4 million and MPAT was $12.7 million. Ellis Arteria, CEO and Managing Director, Graham Bevins, is set to retire. He's agreed that he'll stay on until a new CEO and MD has been appointed to ensure an orderly transition to new leadership, consistent with the 12-month notice period in Graham's employment contract. Since his appointment as CEO and Managing Director in 2018, he's built and led a highly skilled and capable team and instilled a strong values-led culture across the group. He led the restructuring of the APRR holding with the buyout of Macquarie and Macquarie Fund Investors and the restructuring of Warnow Tunnel and the acquisition of Chicago Skyway. Let's take a break here. I'll be back with more news set to affect your trading day. Right now, Calkine is offering a seven-day free trial on its premium research reports. Get access to data-driven market insights combined with an in-depth analysis on financial markets across the globe. Don't miss it. Subscribe for the free trial now. Welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. Let's take a look overseas now. The S&P 500 closed up 0.9%. The Nasdaq Composite closed up 1.3%. And the Dow Jones rose 1% to finish at a record high. European markets closed mixed. London's FTSE lost 0.01%. Frankfurt gained 0.15%. And Paris closed 0.48% lower. In Asia, Tokyo's Nikkei was closed. Hong Kong's Hang Seng added 0.08%. And China's Shanghai Composite added 0.55%. That's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.